Hey there everyone, this is Chris from Robosprout. Just here to give a quick update on some new features that Jim Morris just added to the version 2 smoothie firmware, as well as demonstrate how to connect to the UART via PuTTY. I am demonstrating this on a version 2 smoothie board, but the process to connect to PuTTY is exactly the same on the version 1. First, be sure that your board is connected to your UART and you know the port or device number. Open PuTTY, then set connection type to serial. Select the serial line as the COM port or device number in your computer, and set the baud rate to 115-200. You will also need to select the terminal tab and mark the checkbox for implicit CR in every LF. Click open to start the UART connection, and you should see a blank window open up. At this point, I usually physically reset the board in order to verify that the connection is made and that the information is being represented on screen as intended. At the end of the text string, you should see the network information for the smoothie board and whether it is connected or not, and the IP address. Open a new window of PuTTY, and this time select RAW from connection type, and where it says hostname or IP address, enter the IP address displayed at the end of the text stream and set to port 23. Click open and you should see another window open that says welcome to smoothie shell. So now we get around to the newly added feature. Type update in the shell window and hit enter. In the shell window you should see it begin to verify the MD5 checksum of the files and check to see which version is currently on the board. Now if you look in the UART tab you will see that it is updating the firmware automatically and resetting the board. You can send these commands to the board from any console that you can access your board from, including USB. This is a feature I'm very happy with, and it's going to make it much easier to maintain a current firmware version without having to remove SD cards or do any of the normal procedures that you would with most firmware.